Hi family, welcome unto our broadcast of You Are Enough and I am your host Nikki. So good to be here with you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel family, like and share our videos and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when we upload these videos, you're not going to miss one single video. We want to thank all of you for what you do on our channel to help it become what it is today. Team Nikki G, thank all of you for staying connected. Stay connected family. And I want you all to stay connected in prayer. I want to encourage you to do that because there is power, power whenever you do connect. The enemy wants you to disconnect because he know the breakthrough that you are going to experience. When God leads you to a place, when God leads you to a person, it's a reason why God is leading you in this place. I want you to understand something about obsession. This is dangerous. Be careful, family, whenever people leave your life. Be careful not to play around with the emotions of other people. Never take a person's kindness for weakness. And you have to be careful when God shut doors in your life, when God removes people from your life. God knows why he's removing these people. God knows the state of a person and he knows the end state of an individual so be careful of being a revolving door allowing people to come in and out your life as they wish you know sometimes not all the time but sometimes whenever the enemy thinks they can get the best of you and when it looks like you won by not bowing down and allowing people to come back into your life again they plot and they scheme and they're going to do everything they possibly can to get back in. I want you to hear this. Don't play around with this. This is no laughing matter. This is serious because a lot of people are not mentally stable. A lot of people are not emotionally stable. So you have to be careful of playing with the emotions of other people. You have to be careful with playing with the psyche of other people because some people when they leave your life they would do everything you want them to do just to get back in with you and when the, when the enemy gets back in with you family they're going to finish destroying you this is why it's so important when God shut doors in our life we have to keep these doors closed I don't care what it looks like keep the door closed this is why God tells us not to give the enemy place because if you give him place he's going to destroy you because this is why he come the enemy comes to kill he comes to steal and he comes to destroy the enemy doesn't just want to get on your nerves he's not here just to cause delays in your life he's not here only to cause mishaps in your life no he wants a ko he wants a knockout he wants you done he wants you gone he wants you to lose your mind family don't entangle yourself and ensnare yourself with people who have walked away because some people are obsessed with you and some people are obsessing over getting revenge and finish destroying you. Some people are obsessing with finishing what they've started and that was to destroy you. You've outsmarted a lot of people who came into your life for the wrong reason and they don't like it. And when you've outsmarted the enemy, they're going to bring in more people that you're not going to recognize to help them destroy you. So don't play with it. Don't laugh at it. Some things people are laughing about right now, they're going to cry about it later. Some things people are laughing about and being humorous about right now, they need to be praying about it. Because you just don't know the plans that the devil has for you in detail. But you know why he came. So when God allows people to leave your life, let them stay gone. Let them go. Let them walk away. If they can leave that door and shut it behind them, you let them go. Don't open it back up. God is saving you from something. God is saving you from somebody destroying your life, literally. The enemy will always be obsessed with you. He will always be obsessing over how he's going to finish destroying you. 
This is why when people leave your life, the things that, that they did not do with you before, they're willing to do it. It's a matter of time before they break their vow to you. It's a matter of time before they break their promise. It's a matter of time before that person goes back to being the person who they really are. Because, family, you cannot get, get bad out of good. You can't. That's not their nature. You saw the nature. You saw the fruit in people. You have to believe it. You have to believe it. Never justify the behavior of somebody else. Don't do it. We all go through things in life, but that does not give us a green light to play around with the emotions of other people. Some people are just not mentally stable. Some people are not psychologically stable. Some people aren't spiritually. They're not emotionally stable. And you don't know the mental state of people. This is why, family, when it flies away, let it stay gone. Whatever God has for you, don't you know it's for you? And you remember this. If a person leaves your life, and if it is God's will for that person to be an intricate part of your life, if that person who has left your life is supposed to be a destiny person, they will never come back into your life the same way they came. They will never come back into your life pressuring you. They will never come back into your life lying, playing games, manipulating you, deceiving you, making you feel bad. They will never come in your life trying to one-up you trying to take everything that you have, they will never come back into your life looking at how they can come up. They won't do it. Is it possible for God to allow someone who left your life to come back if it's his will? Of course it is. God is sovereign. He does whatever he wants to do, but he would never bring anybody a part of, to be a part of your life once more to be that permanent part of your life playing games with you. Be careful. Because the enemy is obsessing over finishing what he started. And that is literally destroying you. You know, some people laugh about and they smile when they have a person who they were involved with. And that person go their separate ways. And at some point in life, they may come back or they may try to come back. And you have people who laugh about that. You have people who feel good about that. I don't want you to ever feel good about a person feeling comfortable enough to come back into your life who tried to destroy you. This is no laughing matter. This is a warning. You be careful because as close as you get to your destiny, when you get close, your past is going to resurface. Be warned. Your past is going to resurface. And when the past tries to resurface, just don't give it place. You remember, the enemy has been obsessing over how he's going to destroy you all the time. You haven't heard from people. A lot of these people are obsessing of how they are going to finish destroying your life family. Don't do it. You look at how you've healed. You remember the hole that was in your heart. You remember the times that you can hold your head up so much. You remember the nights you cried yourself to sleep. You remember family of God when you wanted to give up. You remember how these people made you feel. You have a memory. You never forget it. But you're going to forget it in the sense of not trying to gain revenge from people. Let it go. And don't play around with it. Because some people are not mentally stable. They're not emotionally stable. But they'll, they'll give you the impression that they are. That's the enemy. The enemy will always come in your life as a form of light. Because he knows if he comes to you as who he is, the devil, he knows, family of God, you're going to run away. So what does the enemy do? He's going to come in your life exactly like you want them to. They're going to be your knight in shining armor. This is how they're going to come. But be careful, be warned, family of God. This is obsession at its finest. And this is no laughing matter. Don't play around with it. Don't. Don't give your ear to it. Don't trust your own self in the midst of people who have destroyed you. It doesn't matter how much time has gone by from you and a person in your past. Don't do that. Don't give that person place and opportunity to woo you back in. Because that's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to woo you back in. Do not do it. Let it go. 
Don't lean on your own understanding. God tells us that in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Acknowledge God in all your ways. He said, but don't lean on to your own understanding. Don't do it, family of God. I'm telling you, you have people obsessed with you, and they're obsessed with you for the wrong reason, and they have been obsessing over destroying you. The day that you made up in your mind and never let them back in, they have been working diligently and tirelessly how they're going to finish destroying your life. Don't give the enemy your ear. Don't give them your time and don't give them your attention because you're going to waste your time and you're going to blow the biggest blessing that God wants to give you on what? On absolutely nobody, on absolutely nothing. We love you. God bless you. Hold your head up and keep going. Remember, not one weapon formed against you shall prosper, not one. Stay hooked, hooked up to God and keep your heart space clean and keep your hands pure. Keep your heart pure and keep your hands clean. Both.